YouTube. It's uh, Designs by Zephyr here. So you should watch the last video on um, <clears throat> Eclipse and getting set up, and that'll also explain why I'm on a Mac and why you might be on Windows. Um, we're going to be using Eclipse to use this. Uh, I'm going to be using it from now on just because I can't be bothered to go back into Windows and install Edit Plus all over again because I deleted my partitions. I reformatted my computer. So I'm just going to be using Eclipse. Um, it's, you should know how to use it already. I, I explained that in the last video. And today we're going to be learning about variables, okay? <clears throat> now, basically what a variable is, is it's a box in memory that can contain a value. So if you remember back to math class, um, when you had, um, when you had all those, those formulas to memorize, x plus y times 4, pi r squared, all that crap, um, those all use variables, which would be the x and the y, all that stuff. Now, variables in it are, are pretty much the same thing in Java. Um, you don't name them X and Y because it's very vague and it just kind of um, doesn't really mean anything to us. So we don't really, like, it's, it's, I don't know, it's just kind of oblique or something. So it's, we'll name them other things, but we do have variables nonetheless. And there are many different types of, well, not many, there's a couple different types of variables. Now, think of a variable like a box, okay? And there's... Each different box has a different size. Okay, hold on. Let me open up my text edit here. I'm just going to be showing you the different variables right here. So we, we do have byte, we have short, short, we have an int, and we have long. Okay, and these are our variables for real numbers. Let me just make this bigger. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Yay! That should be big enough for you. So, we do have these variables. Um, this is also, also, just so you guys know, this is in, it should be HD quality, so you can just, uh, on Windows I was having some trouble with the quality and stuff, but I'm on Mac now, so it's fine by me. Uh, so, quality should be HD, so you can make this full screen if you really feel like it. Um, you can make it as big as you want. Or, I don't know about YouTube how big it can go, but you get, it, it's 720p, I believe, maybe, maybe 10, 1080, I'm not sure about the 1080, but 720 for sure. So anyways, back to variables. So we have these four different types of variables for displaying numbers, okay? Now these numbers do not contain decimals, there's different variables for decimals. But these numbers are um, pretty, s these are pretty straightforward, they each can hold different variables. Now, if, if you know um, about uh, computer hardware at all, you know that you have a byte, and a byte is, is, um, it's just, it's kind of like, um, it's just a, a set of it's a set of eight numbers that, that can be held. It's a set of ones and zeros of eight that can be held. That's, that's what a byte is, and there are many, 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 many different bytes. Now, but a byte in variables, a byte can hold from negative one hundred and twenty eight to one hundred and twenty eight. Now, what this means is it can go, it can range. It that that's its range. Okay, it only ranges from negative one hundred twenty eight to one hundred twenty eight. And I should probably use the equal sign instead. A short is kind of like a byte. But it can hold negative three two thousand. What is it? Two sixty eight, I believe. Two and then to thirty two thousand two sixty eight. Hold on a second. No, go rats. Where's that program? You. Why aren't you doing it? Ah, no. There we go. Ha ha ha. Anyways, so, th th that's its range, uh, the short. The int range is the one that we're going to be using the most, because it is very large, and we're probably never going to fill it up. But it's just to s safeguard yourself, okay? We're not too concerned about memory as they used to be. That's why we have all these, is because, like, when they first started programming and all that, they were concerned about memory, because they didn't have as much memory as we do now. But now we have tons of memory, and it doesn't really matter. So, we're mostly going to be using int, which is... Oh, um... It's it's around two billion the actual figure. Oh shut up! New Skype for the win, by the way. Um, it the, the ints display are around two billion. Okay, just just so you actually know, from negative two billion to positive two billion, something like that. And the long is just so ridiculously, ridiculously absurdly large that we don't even need to worry about it. Like I I don't even know what it is to tell you the truth. It, I just know it is freaking huge. But ints are, it's its too much. Ints are probably the, uh, they are the uh, safeguarded value that we're going to be using. Then we also have stuff for decimals, because remember, these don't store decimals. So we need to find a way to store decimals. Well, by that we can use float, and we can use double. Okay, now these values, I'm not too sure once again, but to be most, to be the precise, as precise as we can, we're going to use doubles. Okay, just because doubles, um, 
they're not, they are ridiculously absurd again, but it's kind of like the int how, how 2 billion is a hell of a lot larger than this. It's kind of the same with this. Float is large, but double is larger. And we want to be as exact as we can in, well, I want to say math, but yes, in math. You want to be exact as you can. So we're going to be using double and ints, okay? Now think of all these like boxes, okay? Now think of them as different size boxes. So this could be a, a, 2x2 two two size box, this is a 3x3, three 4x4, three, 5x5, four five five, okay? Now, you, you can't fit a 5x5 five five box into a 4x4, four four. so we're, you're going to have to do something to fit it in, and what that is is called casting, okay? And I'll explain that later, but that is the concept beside, behind casting. We want to make this fit in, so we're going to make it fit in. That's basically what casting is, and I might explain that in a, in a separate tutorial just for itself. But anyway, so now that we know that we have these variables, we're going to use int and double, okay? And we're just going to create a program using int first. Because double, well, well, we'd have to cast, and I'll show you that in the next one. So, we're just going to make a new Java program, okay? We're going to call this a uh, variable. Oh, I spelled wrong. Variables. Okay. And then in variables, we are going to create a class, and we're going to call this class variables. Sure. Uh, okay, so now we got this class. I'm going to create, my, I'm just going to do this right away, uh, swing.j option, just so I can get that in there without actually, um, just so I don't have to th think about it later really. So now we're going to have our main method, so we got to write our main method. Now if you remember, it's public, static, void, ooh, main, and then string arguments. Oh, what the heck. Okay, so there's there's our main method. So this is what our main method looks like. Um, I'll explain methods and instance variables later on. Probably next lesson I'll explain them in depth. But um, this is just a method right here. That's all you need to know. It's a method. So in our method, we're going to declare a an, um, a variable. And we're de going to declare... Ver Stop jumping. Holy crap. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This this cannot open. This is going to... Okay, thanks. That's, that, that would slow this computer down like a shitload. So anyways, as you see, we have, we're going to be using ints. So we're going to create a, an, we're going to create a simple program, uh, a calculator, kind of like a calculator. We're going to create a, um, an equation, okay, for finding the area of a rectangle. There we go. That's what we're doing right now. So we're going to start off is we're going to declare our first int. So it, we're very simply int. That's how you declare an int. And then we're going to say int, and we're going to call this length because you need length 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 times width to equal height or to equal the area length times width is the area so int length and then we're going to set it equal to two just to be simple okay and we're going to get this error right here that this one that's just saying like you haven't you haven't read that variable yet it's not being read so then we're, we're going to declare a second variable and this is going to be width okay and we're going to set that equal to three just just to be simple so now that we have length and width, we got to declare our our equation. So we're going to create an int because the final value coming out of area, the area equation is an int. Okay, we're not going to have a decimal here. Okay, we're going to have we're going to have an, a a real number like a, a a number without a decimal. Sure, and then we're going to make our equation. So we're going to call length. Okay, and then we're going to multiply it by width. And there you go. You made your equation, okay? And now we're just going to call, we're going to create a new op J option. Why is this doing that? We're going to create a new J option pane, okay? And we're going to call it my IO, okay? And then we're going to call my IO dot show message dialog. First argument is null, second argument is area, because we want to display the area, okay? Now you'll see this error. Don't worry about this error. I explained that in the last video if you if you saw that. Um, don't worry about it. You just just ignore it. So now we're gonna run the program, and it will come up saying six because length times width is six. Okay. Now let's just explain what happened here. Okay, how we got this. So we instantiated the um, the integer value length, and we we set it equal to two. Then we created one called width. Set that equal to three. Then we created one called area. Set it equal to the length times the width. Then we made a new object in, in memory uh, of type G option pane, and we called it my IO. 
and then we called my IO, and in my IO, we, we um, instead of using text as we did last time, we, we declared a variable. We said we want it to equal the area, and the area was length times width. Okay, so it's pretty, um, pretty straightforward. Um, that's about it for variables. I'll show you doubles now, I guess. Um, let's just close this one. Okay, sure, lovely. So doubles, to declare a double, it would just be double. Okay, it's the same thing. So now we're going to double and we're going to do triangle. We're going to do the height and width of triangle. So base, because you need base times height, um, like half base times height. So we're going to set the base equal to 2, 2.1, okay? And then we'll set the double height equal to pi, 3.1415926540. Okay, and then base times height, okay? And then we're going to take the area, so we're going to do the area again. And now the area this time, we're going to, now, in um, Java, the the value, the, um, sorry, the variables, when you do have an equation, it uses bedmiss, okay? Brackets, exponents, um, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. It does use bedmiss, okay? So we're going to use that to our advantage here. So what we could do is we could we could do 0.5 base times base times height whatever but there's another way of doing it okay so we can we're going to put brackets and we're going to do base times height in the brackets and space and then divided by 2 this is just so that we're saying base times height and we're going to get that we're going to get the value of this first and then we're going to divide it by 2 just to um simple it up and then we're going to create our new j option pane probably shouldn't have deleted this line my IO equal new J option pane. Yeah. And then my IO dot show message. Come on, pop up. Ah, fine. Dialog null comma area. There. So now this one is going to show us what will it show us? I don't know what that, that value is. That value is apparently 3.298, whatever. But that is base times height divided by 2, because roughly 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 divided by 2 is around 3, so it is roughly, it is correct, to be honest. Um, I'll show you casting in the next lesson. Um, that is That will be a good lesson, because it'll show you, what, what casting is, is it'll show you if we made this an int, how do we get a, how do we, how do we take, because it, it will, yeah, we'll get an error here. Mismatch cannot convert a double to an int because if you remember the boxes, double is is a decimal and it's bigger than int. So we're gonna have to find a way to get double into int. And actually, I can probably show you that right now. Basically, all you do is that you, you declare whatever variable you have at the front. You declare it in brackets at the very beginning of the line, and then that'll that'll cast it. And that that will say, okay, I know that you're getting this variable, and this variable is three point whatever, three point two something. Um, I know you're getting this variable, but I don't want that. I only want an int because it, it gives you the error because it's thinking that you're not smart, pretty much. But then when we say that we do want that value, like if we if we take this out, it's going to give us the error because it's saying, I can't put a double in an int. What are you trying to do to me right now? But if we put an int here, it's saying, I know that like that you can't do it, but I, wa I want you to take this and I want you to put it in integer, integer value, which all it'll do is it'll drop the, the decimal points and it'll come up with three. Okay, it'll drop anything after the decimal. It'll just discard it completely. So there's your lesson on casting too. Actually, it's pretty simple. You can do the same with a with an with a double here. It, actually, there's nothing bigger than a double really. So yeah, that, that's all you really need to know is casting. Um, if we didn't have the brackets here, you would have to have int like this, and that would do it for base, and then have int here as well, and that would do it for height. And this bracket shouldn't be there. That would that would work as well because that's w because we had the brackets. It's kind of like the um, oh, what's it called? That 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 law in in math where if you have something in the brackets and you have a multiplication before the brackets, it dis distributive law. It distributes it into the brackets. This it's if we don't have the brackets, then we're gonna have to de declare it for each different value. Okay, so that's that's the only thing, and it'll pop up the same answer right here. And bam, there we go, three. So it's the same thing. Um, it's just a basic. It's pretty simple to do. It's not too hard to wrap your head your head around, I guess. So uh, yeah. So I will see you in the next lesson about instance variables and methods. Woot woot.